Putting on slopes can throw a variable into your ability to make more putts more often, unless you're putting on tabletops all the time, which is highly unlikely because the average greens are in, have a slope of anywhere between one and four degrees. You're gonna need to know how to adjust your putting, your stance, so that your stroke is compatible and you can make more putts more often. As it relates to slopes in today's video, the two areas I'm gonna focus on are ball below your feet and ball above your feet. So I wanna show, that I'll illustrate first the ball below your feet and then some of the things that you need to do to ensure that your very developed and good stroke continues to make putts and makes them more often. So obviously, if I were to set up to this ball the way I normally would, you can see, and if I could get the camera to zoom in a little bit, you can see that the putter head, although might be square to where I want the ball to go, that the toe of the club is off the ground, obviously, as it is not tracking the slope. So one thing that you need to do is, and also because the ball is further away from you, you need to get a little closer, and then you need to make your shaft more vertical. And the key component to this is you need to make sure that the sole of the putter is flush to the slope. That's gonna play a vital role in your ability for to, to catch the, uh, the ball square at impact, okay? Now, if I can get the camera to back up a little bit. After you have moved closer and you have set the sole flush to the ground, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do, and this is very important, is you're going to grip the club more firmly with your lead hand. So for me, my left hand. And the reason that this is very important is as you go and make your stroke, gravity is going to wanna to pull that putter head down the, the stroke and if or I'm sorry down the hill and if you're holding the, the putter more firmly in your lead hand the tendency is for the putter face to track down the target line or down the intended direction that you want the ball to go it will counter affect gravity to enough of an extent that it won't let your putter drift offline so just to recap a little bit ball below my feet you need to, to make the sole flush to the ground come a little closer and lastly you're going to hold it more firmly in your lead hand so that when you take your stroke, let me line up to this hole, that it will offset the putter head gravity and wanting to pull the putter head down the slope and will track more down the target line, something like that. So now as you can see, I'm moved around to where I have a, a right to left breaking putt or in other words, that the ball is above my feet. The same principles or apply to this putt as they did to the ball below my feet, only in reverse order. So once again, if I set up to this normally, in this instance, you'll notice that the, if I can get the camera to zoom in a little bit, if I were to set up normally, the heel this time would be off the ground, which is not going to help my stroke as the, the toe of the club will have a tendency to catch the hill and it can do a lot of things that you don't want to do to your putter. So the number one thing to do, again, even with the ball above your feet, as it was with the ball below, you want to set the sole of the putter flush to the ground as so. All right, so the camera can back up. What that's going to do, because the ball is closer to you and now you have the heel of the club, I'm sorry, the toe of the club more towards you as, it mat as the sole is flush to the, to the ground, the grip is gonna be closer to you so you have to back up just a little bit. And now the last thing is, because the, the gravity of the slope is going to want to pull the putter head down the slope or make your putter come inside too much, to counteract that, you're gonna hold the putter more firmly in your trail hand. So obviously for me, that's my right hand this time. Okay, so just like so, I'm gonna hold the club a little bit more firm in my right hand. The sole of the putter is flush to the ground. I'm a little further away from the ball. And I'll, let me swear, line this putt up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make my stroke. And it would be something just, oh, almost like that. So. Try those things out the next time you go out to the putting green to do your practicing. Keep, definitely keep those in mind the next time you go to the course. If you work on it a little bit, you won't have to think about it so much when you go to the course. It'll be more of a natural reaction. And I'm sure your putting and enjoyment are gonna go to a whole new level. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. We hope you picked up something that's beneficial to your game. If you tried what we just gave you today, love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'd love to have you as a follower. 
You can also hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under The Golf Paradigm. And don't forget to follow the hottest podcast in golf, our podcast called Golf 360. If you'd like to subscribe or watch some more of our videos, you can do so right over here.